What's up everybody, Jared here for TGN Technology and the Smoking Android and today we're going to be showing you guys a bit of a review on a ROM that I've been using for my Samsung Galaxy S3 for uh, well a few weeks now and the reason why I'm using a uh, stock ROM as opposed to an AOSP based ROM like Sanogen Mod and so on um, is because a lot of those ROMs, those true true custom ROMs are kind of yet to be completely stable for what I need them to do. Um, so I kind of went through a whole bunch of different ROMs and fell upon Blackstar. And uh, Blackstar is care of Mad Dog over on XDA Developers, or you know if you see him out there, his uh, actual name is M3DD0G. So I'm assuming he's uh, meaning Mad Dog. But uh, anyway, so basically um, Blackstar is based on LF6 ROM, which is obviously the latest or one of the latest stock ROMs from Samsung. Um, obviously this is for the i9300. Just to kind of throw that out there. So if you are with AT&T, T-Bombol, you know, Sprint and so on. Uh, this is the international version. This is not compatible with uh, any of the North American versions out there. Um, some other cool things about this one is that he's actually removed all of the SAMI bloatware. Um, now he says in the thread itself that um, even though he's removed all the Samsung bloatware, that the functions are still there. However, I'm going to disagree with him on certain things. Um, like, you know how there's that direct call motion where... Um, you know, if you're in your messaging application and you're, you know, in the middle of texting a contact and you said, ah, screw it, I'm just going to go ahead and call them anyways. So you just hold it up to your phone and then the, um, one of the little sensors here picks up that it's, you know, on your ear and it starts directly calling that contact. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it to work. Um, the reason behind that, I think, is because this isn't actually using the stock messaging app. I could be wrong there. I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. And as a result, it's not doing that direct call. I mean, now you still have the option, uh, a little option in the top right hand corner to make that phone call directly. Um, however, you know, just simply putting it up to your ear doesn't seem to work. Um, so what another cool thing that I liked about this ROM is that it actually has a CRT on off animation as you can see there when it decides to turn back on when as you notice there actually on a side note the uh, turning the screen back on when using a stock ROM such as this one in particular um, there seems to be a bit of a lag and I've noticed that with all stock ROMs uh, stock custom ROMs if you will uh, for the international version I'm not really sure what's causing that uh, but nevertheless getting back on track here so we do have the CRT on and off animation as you can see there which actually I don't seem to find um, you know in a lot of uh, different or at least um, um, stock ROMs for that matter you know you seem to find a lot of ROMs that have have um, the CRT off animation, but what about the on animation? Now I wish I'd kind of see that option at least to enable or disable either or both um, in the future for other ROMs as well. But so this is actually one of the big things that I actually one of the reasons why I actually downloaded this one. Um, in addition to the Circle Mod, you know, I was actually running. Um, uh, Foxhound ROM before back when it was in uh, version 1.1 and it did well um, however there's just there's so many things that were wrong with it you know it's a fantastic ROM I really really do like it I like all the options but all the options in there were actually so similar to all the customization options in Blackstore the one that we're seeing right now and um, uh, you know some of the things w that was really cool about Foxhound is that they actually have an over the air um, setting or, or menu uh, option for you to choose from and in there you can download a bunch of other cool modifications like battery mods, the circle battery mod, a bunch of other stuff and then you just flash it through clockwork mod recovery and you go from there. However there was myself including a lot of other people were complaining that um, um, the mods were not sticking after flashing. It looks like they flashed okay but when you reboot your device none of those mods were actually still there anymore. Uh, one of them in particular because I just uh, for me for some reason I'm a real stickler for having a circle battery mod and um, for some reason the battery mod never seemed to stick. Uh, in fact, the uh, fine developer himself tried to help me out, but to no avail. So I went out searching for a ROM with these options already in there, ready to go. They're all working and everything. So I came across Blackstar and uh, this is kind of where we're at now. So very solid ROM. Um, uh, some other cool things about it, uh, the system UI and framework have been themed. So that means that not only just the cool looks of it, so it doesn't look like it's just have a, has a, uh, a themed skin over top of it, um, the, the actual framework itself has been themed. So, I mean, as you can see here, things such as like the, the notification bar, status bar, everything has been themed. Now, getting into the notification bar, we don't, unfortunately, <clears throat> excuse me, have um, 
a transparent uh, notification pull down tray here. Um, however, we do have themed toggles up at the top there, as you can see. You know, we've got Wi Fi data, everything's toggled. Um, reading in some of the different um, uh, changes that he's made in this version 3 part of the ROM, uh, apparently there's 15 other toggles that are available. Um, I only obviously put the ones that I need, so uh, very cool stuff there. I do enjoy that. Um, moving on from that, uh, it has actually the Jelly Bean music application, which I really like to see. As you can see here, just opening it up quickly, and I'll go ahead and back, jump back into this. And as you can see here, it is the Jelly Bean music application. Now, I don't have a whole lot of experience with Jelly Bean itself. However, uh, maybe some of you can tell me in the comments below if whether or not the Jelly Bean music application is themed black or if it has that sort of bluish tinge that uh, we all grew, grew to new and love in, um, in uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, but anyways, so here is the Music as app, as you can see. It is Jelly Bean flavored, so very cool stuff there. Uh, what else we got here for you guys? Uh, oh yes, it has the modded HX camera version 1.4. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with why you would want a modded camera application um, for a stock ROM running on Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, the reason behind that is because it actually, um, in its stock form, came with uh, a lot of deficiencies that developers saw a lot of room for improvement. Um, one of that being the video recording capabilities, or how many... Uh, megabits it's able to um, record in and uh, so they've actually bumped that up from what I understand from whatever it was before that being 20 or 24 or something like that all the way up to 30 last time I checked uh, so what does that mean for you well it means better video quality as well as better audio quality and that's always a bonus and I do happen to know that uh, there's still continuous work being done from the lovely lovely developers over at XDA on uh, to get that even better uh, I guess uh, audio recording is still a bit of an issue um, now while I'm pressing the uh, home button there um, you may or may not have noticed but uh, you know some of you out there have complained about the home button being laggy so say for instance you're in your apps drawer and you hit your home button or say for instance you're in settings and you hit your home button there's sim seem to have always been about like a one one second stutter but one second lag um, a lot of people you know that, that uh, a lot of people are saying that has to do with the double tap to enable the S voice um, application in the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, if you just disable it, apparently it alleviates that lag problem. However, I still found that I was running into those lag problem issues uh, even with that unchecked. So uh, there is actually a home button lag fix built into the ROM, which is really, really nice to see. Um, and what else do we have here? Oh yeah, so we've got some different, uh, obviously modified things here. So uh, getting into the dialer, obviously, as you can see, this is sort of more of an AOSP style dialer with uh, all of our standard stuff up there. Um, the messaging app, hang on, just wanna make sure that I don't show you guys any private messages. This is the messaging app, it is blacked out, so very nice to see there. And um, some other things that have been blacked out and or themed uh, being the file manager, as you can see here, file if it'll launch, file manager has been blacked out. Uh, so very nice to see that. And as well as Google Reader, I'm for one don't use Google Reader and I'm not gonna try very hard to find it in here. It's probably right in front of my face, but uh, Google Reader has been blacked out as well. Uh, the calculator app has been blacked out. And what else has been blacked out? Well, that's about it, actually. That's that's all the stuff that's been blacked out. Um, but anyways, so we'll just go ahead and briefly jump into the settings here. Um, it does come stock with Apex Launcher. However, Apex isn't really my style, so I went with Nova Launcher. I have been like a Nova Launcher for quite some time now, so I went with that. Um, it's got a bunch of Jelly Bean sounds. It's got the Jelly Bean animations. Uh, so very cool stuff there. As you can see here, we have a lot of our stock um, settings, system settings, things like that. Battery on this ROM has actually been really fantastic. Um, I actually use my device quite a bit. I'm, I'm not really sure. Oh yes, device idle. The reason why device idle and cell standby are so high is because um, I'm recording this video after uh, waking up recently from sleep. So uh, that has been idle for quite some time for, uh, what's that, maybe eight hours or more. And I actually took a few naps yesterday, but I haven't charged this. As you can see, it, uh, it's been going for one day, seven hours and 19 minutes so far. And we are at 50%, 58% discharging. So really, really fantastic battery life there um, with, uh, you know, moderate to heavy usage. Um, yesterday, that is obviously the eight hours sleeping or more has uh, reflected in the battery settings or the, the display there. So um, really fantastic stuff here. If I was to complain about one thing, one thing only is the fact that it seems to be 
redrawing the home screens every time I'm doing some, um, you know, he heavy tasking, and then I, you know, hit my uh, um, home screen button to jump back to the home screen there, it kind of takes a little bit sometimes, has to redraw Google+, Plus, has to redraw everything. If I'm going from landscape to portrait really quickly, um, it seemed to have had uh, uh, some issues in the past with um, re-rendering or redrawing the uh, all the home screens from from landscape to portrait. So, uh, I mean, those are some minor things. I've had to, I found that I've had to fix permissions once, but I think that was because of me flashing back and forth between um, jelly bean flavored ROMs, uh, testing things out. Um, but that's about it. So, uh, yeah, that is Black Star for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 International Version. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will be posting a link in the description below for you all to download it. I do, do, do recommend this ROM. It is very, very stable, very, very fast. And uh, everything you could ask in a stock custom ROM is right here waiting for you. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. For TGN Technology and the Smoke and Android, my name is Jared, and we shall see you guys in the next video.